Hello, hello? What's up, man? Oh, God. Hold on. I gotta turn that down real quick. All right, speak again. What's poppin'? All right, perfect. All right, so coaching sessions in session. All right, so what is so your rank is your bronze three right now? All right. Okay. What are three things that you want to get out of this coaching session? Like, what are the three concepts that you think you are very much lacking in that you'd like for me to focus on specifically? Well, number one, positioning, because as a you know, I play Kaisa. I'm almost like mm -hmm. a Kaisa one trick, but I find myself being in front of my front line a lot or okay. in the middle of my front line okay okay uh, anything else on positioning i get was kiting count as positioning uh not really that's more of a mechanic we'll like put kiting as like a like a filler right now anything else uh, and i guess when to like i guess you know, like when your passive stacks are like up and like there's like a whole bunch of places to R. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're going to look at very like Kaisa specific, right? Very, yeah, okay. basically. How to play Kaisa. All right, perfect. Kaisa Masterclass, except I'm not going to give you the whole goodies because if you guys want the whole Kaisa Masterclass, y'all going to have to give me some subs because that shit's going to take some time. But uh, we will focus on a lot of in-depth Kaisa mechanics, so I'm going to have you hop into a game right now, uh, screen share, and then I'll do some live coaching. Alright, uh, ranked or um, preferably draft. ranked, yes. I got you. Yeah, so basically, Kaisa is a champion where, when you say you're positioning, uh, you're mispositioning, of you're using in front of your front line, or you're in the middle of like a fight, uh, that in itself is already a very, very bad place to start, because Kaisa's main thing is obviously getting that isolated key, right? Like, that's what she's known for. That's what, like helps her pop off so when it comes to that you really need to focus on hitting front to back and when you're diving into the back line uh that's when you have to still isolate your cue so you can one shot the 80 carry right or whoever you're going for right so uh i think what we're gonna actually focus on specifically is we're gonna try to get you to play lane phase really well because if you can play kaisa's lane phase really well at that point uh kaisa is a stat stick champion and what that means is when kaisa is able to win trades it's pretty much a for sure thing. Like when you trade autos with someone and you just go auto Q and they can't fight it back, you you can't do anything, right? It's just that's it. Right. So we're gonna focus a, very heavily on your lane phase, try to get you to play the first about let's say three to five waves correctly. And if you can play that correctly, where you can get this level two cheese that I have in mind going off, then you're gonna be golden. How do you play with a Yumi as Kaisa? Is it just like, pray that the laning phase doesn't go horrible? or like... So Yumi is actually pretty good with Kaisa for the fact that if uh, you work very well with Yumi's E, right? And Kaisa being a short range champion, typically Yumi's going to take that exhaust, ignite, double, like aggressive summoner. So when you're playing versus something that can engage in short range, uh, like they say versus a Lucian Nautilus or something like that, uh, you have a lot, a lot of room to actually outplay them. Because... You can just soak up that damage with the exhaust that on Yumi and then ignite. And since she's already like close range, uh, she heals you and then you deal burst damage back. Like there's a whole world to like, Kaisa mechanic and spacing that people haven't really known about yet that like is very foreign. That sounds redundant, but I couldn't find filler words. <laughs> I should not play music just in case like any of these songs end up do being copyright for no fucking reason. Okay, playing with the Lux support, that's not bad. Definitely not one of our more ideal supports to play with because she doesn't really mesh well with Kaisa, but she does have a form of CC that we can mesh well with. Uh let right. me see your uh after you lock in, let me see your runes. I think I have like the one that you know they give you and then this one uh like open the page this one no the main uh so the thing about kaisa is i think most kaisas until you hit about like a very very high elo you should almost never go lethal tempo because i think you just get so much in like 
inna innate value just going Halo Blades. So this is pretty good. I do like this. Yep, this is pretty standard. Yep. Yeah, right. don't, like, usually, unless you're versus a team full of nothing but tanks, like, their support's a tank, their jungle's a tank, their mid and top are a tank, and their is the only one that's not a tank, uh, just try not to go lethal tempo. Okay. Because it just confuses people too much as to when to go which. I kind of try to go take lethal tempo when there's, like, three tanks? It's not bad, but, like, typically, it's also, like, very important on lane phase, right? Like, Kaisa needs to have a decent lane phase to play the rest of the game. So let's say, what if their top, mid, and jungle are playing tanks, but their support is playing, like, Lucian Nami, right? Legal Tempo right. is not going to do anything for you there. You'd rather have the Halo Blades, and you can scale with regular attack speed later on. I should also make this a fucking text thing. Add source. New source. Heal or like uh, uh or you can probably go heal here because like you can't really eh. yeah we're gonna go heal 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 is good. Okay, so what do you think playing Kaisa Lux versus Jin Swain's gonna be? What is your win condition? What is your lose condition in lane? Uh, well, Jin is like what the counter. I mean, the the follow up to Swain's abilities, right? Mhm. Mm and so, like, I have to go off of like whatever Lux. Like, as long as Lux doesn't get caught, as long as I don't get caught by Swain, we should be fine. Okay. Right? So, what ability is going to be your lose condition this lane? Um, the Swain pull, the mm -hmm. Jin W. Perfect. That's all I needed to hear. As long as you acknowledge that. Now that we have that idea in our mind, now we know that anytime we're looking. To like fight or where we're positioning in lane we're looking to avoid swain e right so the two tips i'm going to give you before you get into lane here is to avoid swain e stay away from standing with your caster creeps because he wants to volley pop that off you right so it's easy for him to land and the second thing is stand on the opposite side of the lane where swain is so if he's on the bottom side of the lane you want to stand on the top side and vice versa you get me right okay. so the triangle what if my lux is staying on the top side if your Lux is staying on the top side, then you're pretty much going to stay on, like, that side with her until she moves down. I like, usually go this. Uh, this lane's okay. fine, yeah. This is fine. Okay. Because this lane isn't very, like, it's bursty, but they don't have enough, like, full-on damage burst to, like, nuke you in one hit. So you don't need that Doran's Blade. Have you ever been Jewish? What the <laughs> fuck does that even mean? Oh yeah, do a favor for me and press Control 5. Perfect. Oh, I see what you... <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's a, you have to do it. It's a Kaisa thing, man. Oh, run. Fucking run upwards. Upwards, upwards, upwards. Not there. Okay, that's sideways. We're talking about upwards. Too late. Run to the left. You should be out. You shouldn't have to burn anything. So yeah, you're not looking at your minimap there. So next time that happens, make sure you're looking at your minimap. So that way, if you're getting invaded, you're fucking running the correct direction. Because if they really wanted to, if Darius went pulled, you would have to burn flash there. Okay, okay, so because of this, we're now in a slightly disadvantageous spot in uh in lane phase because we don't have first push, right? Like this lane is very heavily based on who gets the first push because you're both double range. So now we're just wondering where their bot lane is because if they're not pushing first, you might have the chance. Okay, yeah, they're gonna get their bot lane first. Okay, so when you're getting pushed in like this, you definitely want to stay back. Just try to soak EXP, but don't even walk up to try last hit. Like, it's not worth it. Just let the wave come into you as fast as possible. Because once the wave bounces back, right, it's easy for you to play the game, right? Because the wave's pushing outwards, so you have more to play with. Right. So here, don't walk up. Just let it be. Swain has no E here, so you can walk up to last hit the casters whenever you feel. Don't auto it too much. We're just trying to last hit, right? We want this wave bounce back. So Swain has E again. Lux is fucking up our wave. It's fine. They level two. 
use uh, auto key on these two melees here in the back line. Nice. Cool. Okay, Swain has no E, so you can play up again. Try to last hit when you can. We want to soak up and miss as little farm as possible. Okay, when Lust gets pulled in like that, oh, she's dead. So when your support gets pulled in like that, you have two options, right? Either one, you watch them just get hit and die. But in that situation, since all their damage is pretty much single target after the E, you can actually walk him and get a tiny trade on Jin. It's not much, but an auto Q can still matter in like the long run, you know? Yeah. Okay, we're standing on the same side as Swain here. We don't want to do that. So we're going to stand on the top side. Yep, just not alongside with our caster creeps. We're standing with our caster creeps. This is bad, but lucky he doesn't punish. Yep, we just don't do anything here. Okay, not bad. That got kind of bad. It's fine. You're going to auto queue this, I believe, to get it. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Close. Oops. Okay, so we see that jungle, like both junglers and top laners are pretty much just fighting in the top lane, right? So now it's going to be a 2v2 lane. So if Lux lands a pull... Okay, that was really risky, but it's fine. Use your W on that full HP creep. Oh, actually, no, you don't need it. Nice. Actually, that works. Perfect. Okay, you don't need a ward jet. Pop a potion. So anytime you're below or near half HP, always pop a pot. It's better to be safe than sorry if you're like thinking about, oh, what if I can bait the opponent? Also, you're standing with the backline again. Nice. Okay, you can play up again. But yeah, it's like, it's a really good habit. So anytime you're like near half, just always pop a pot if you have one. Okay, so we're pretty much just like, like just giving them the entire lane phase because we can't do anything with this right now. Uh, after your next Q, you're going to pop a biscuit so you can regen the max amount of mana. Don't use Q unless you're trading here or unless you're getting like multiple creeps at once. Warwick's going to be bought. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. This is really good here. Walk up. Ian. Oh, he missed the gen. That's gen flash. Okay, ping your Warwick back. Nice. All right, now that we have jungle pressure, we want to hard shove this wave in, right? Because the next two waves are crashing now. So just push as much as you can. Okay, after your next cube, we're going to pop a biscuit. Nice. Good. I like this. I like this. Pop a biscuit. Perfect. We're looking at the Swain here. Swain's getting caught out. Swain's getting caught out. We got to walk up. Okay, that's good. We can't get anything more. Don't walk up too far. Nice. Heal your, heal your Lux, heal your Lux, heal your Lux. Heal out and run. One downwards. Look at the Silas. Help your Warwick. Help your Warwick. Path towards him. WQ. Okay, run, 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 run. Hard run. Flash out. Oh, huge. You're so fucking smurf, actually. Absolutely nuts. Good shit, good shit. Pop another pot because you're below half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good shit, bro. Good shit. I usually just wait for like the passive to be as stacked as possible. Uh, you can't win this. You just have to back up here. Okay, are you going to stay in was... lane or are you going to base? No, this is a question. I'm not telling you. You should probably stay in lane because this is canon. So you uh, pop a biscuit and then go back walk up into lane. Careful not to walk into your backline creeps, but just enough to you can soak EXP. So if Swain bases here, you're going to like E on this fucking gin and you're going to fucking Eagle on him. All right, push in this wave. Don't like hard look for a fight unless he's in that bush. Is he in that bush? He's in the bush. Fuck, we should have fought him. Whatever, it's unlucky. All right, just push in this wave. We don't want to fight him. We don't want to fight him. We do not want to fight him. We just want to push in this wave and look for a base because this is more advantageous for us. Q. All right, look for a base. Perfect. Because he can't freeze because that trap's going to fuck it up now, right? And it's going to crash into a turret. Perfect. Okay. I'd probably buy pickaxe and longsword because Kai said you just want... Yep, and you can get that. Uh, Yep, dagger. Yep, and you get right back in the lane. So as Kai said, you don't really need... Uh, pretty much that Noon Quiver attack speed just instantaneously, because if you do that, all you have gold for is Noon Quiver and the Crit Cloak, right? It's better for you to scale off just raw AD, and you get the most out of that if you just go the pickaxe of this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, your Lux is getting fucked on, but you know, it is what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> she might actually be dead. Oh, no, that guy can't aim. Okay, so Silas is here. So Silas is going to go back mid. Your wave is crashing into you. Your Lux is should be basing, but she's not. She's trolling. Tell your Lux to base if she can. Be like, let's go B. Okay, Lux isn't listening. Okay, don't walk up too far. We really can't miss this wave. 
put a ward in the never mind you're fine because we see kindred top lane lux is really enjoying how to fuck up our wave it's kind of lit so we don't want to hard push this right we don't let this wave crash into us because we're going to be playing 2v1 for quite a while while this lux did not get her base off during the time this wave was crashing in we're pretty much playing 2v1 anyways because lux at no hp provides nothing other than like maybe a random q <clears throat> <clears throat> so I like this. You're definitely keeping in mind of where the Swain is walking, and I see you're adjusting your movement to where he is, so that's really, really good. <clears throat> okay, your Lux might get caught here. That's good. That's fine. We're chilling. So here we see Warwick pretty much coming bot soon. So Kindred was top about 30 seconds ago, and now he's mid. We want to look we want to look at our mini map as we're farming this wave. So now we see her like path towards the bot, right? That's where she's disappearing in a fog. So if we decide to get a gank off here, we're going to hug the bottom side during the fight so we can stay away from Kindred if she shows up. Like, this okay. is what it means to track the jungle and pretty much plan, like, 30 seconds ahead of when your next fight is going to be. So because Warwick is spending time farming his red buff instead of coming bot lane, we know that uh, Kindred does have time to pretty much farm her camp and be bot lane and posture correctly for it. Nice, I like this. We're not walking too far up. This is really good. My wave just expired. No. It's all good. The wave's crashing in, so it doesn't really matter. Let the wave crash in. Don't auto it. Only last hit. Look at dragon when you can. Like after this cannon, pan your cannon or dragon. Okay, so they can dragon. Oh, we missed cannon. I said after cannon, bro. It's all good. Be yeah, nice. We're just last hitting. Kindred walked towards the bottom side after she cleared that ward. They're coming. I W him just so that way. No, you you bait. Look at your teammates. They're moving in position, right? If you W, you scare her off. Now look at her. Now 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 W. Now W. Now W. Nice. Huge, bro. Actually fucking huge. So in times like that, you almost never really tell, like, expose that you know they're there until like you know like there's nothing up, right? Because the longer you waste their time, the easier it is for you to like help your team like set up the bait like that. And it also wastes their time just in general for your jungle to like clear an extra like camp or two. Also, you're going to start hard pushing this. Oh, hard push? Okay. Yeah. Make sure you're hugging towards the top side because they could be cheesing you from the bush. Hug the top side. Yeah. So we see Silas coming down here. So we're just going to be very careful. Okay. Try to hard shove this as fast as possible. Stay in the middle of the lane rather than near the bushes or near the top side. Just be very neutral. Nice. Okay. One more auto queue. And you should just head another fuck on out. All right. Run. All right. Nice space. Good shit. Oh yeah, by the way, on this patch, uh, Gale Force fucking Kais is pretty much dead, so it's always Kraken Slayer now. So Kraken, nice. Uh, sell your... Oh, actually, no, you can just wait for uh, a dagger. Just wait for a dagger. Yeah. So the reason why we aren't going pink ward here is for two reasons. Number one, there's no objective coming up. And number two, we have a very hard time holding Pryo, right? And so right. if we don't have Pryo, they just take out that ward whenever they fucking feel like it. Okay, once again, Lux enjoys very much effing up our wave. This is really lit. Very poggers. <laughs> so, at this point, anytime you're looking for a fight, your positioning is going to be looking to front to back. And as you're moving to use your, like, your fights, you want to think about how you can get isolated cues off. Because that's where most of your damage is going to come from. Uh, so now our next win condition. Okay, push hard, hard push here, hard push here. Because we see Swain mid. We're adapting to the change. We want to force him to come back bot lane. If you get something mid, we're going to at least try to look for a dive angle. Okay, Swain's backing up immediately. We see that they're fighting. We see Kinder's top. Okay, spam ping. You're going to go here and tell your luck that you want to dive. Like, we, we want to fucking just... Ner I'm going to nuke this kid. Wait for Lux to land her abilities. Yep. Go, go, go. Nice. Auto. Oh, oh. Okay. Not the cleanest mechanics, but it's okay. It, it, it got the job done and we made a miss a wave, so it's fine. I thought that was so bad. <laughs> okay, uh, refund that. We want to get double longsword here because double longsword should theoretically give us our uh, our thing. So sell. Uh, yeah, double that. Check if that gives us. No, uh, I don't think, I think we need two more levels. Okay, so refund the longsword and buy the tier two boots. Perfect. 
now head back on in the lane. Look at the fight at the Raptor camp. Rotate to the fight at the Raptor camp. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's not winning. It's not winning. It's not winning. Okay, go back to your lane. That is not winning. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Look at the Raptor camp. We see Kindred walking down, right? We can catch her out here. Okay. Don't play too aggressive here. Place a ward at the Krug camp. Place a ward at the Krug camp. Yep. And then play very safe. This is a 2v3. You do not want to engage here. Well, actually, unless this guy runs down. Perfect. Fight this guy. Fight this guy. Run upwards and fight him. Run upwards and fight him. Up, 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 up. Okay. Run to your turret. Fucking speed run out of there. We are Lightning McQueen. We are out. Look at R here. Okay. She's going to be too far. She doesn't have ulti, so she can't catch from this wave. Oh. I like this. Not bad. Not bad. Now run for the hills. Okay. Go back in. Go back in. Farm the wave. Look at the wave. Look at the wave. You can't pretty much help anymore with the kill. Nice. Now hard push this wave. Use your E. All that good stuff. I like this. So pretty much you are the saving grace of your team. Like there's six kills on your team. You are four of them. Don't walk up. Look for a base. Look for a base. This is this is bad for tempo. No, bad for tempo. Run for run back. Run. Don't greed for the plate. Don't greed for the plate. Brother, you are trolling. Uh, wait, was I supposed to hit the plate once? No, you're supposed to run. Oh, like you, you let the I plate thought... go. Look here. You can hit. You can hit this guy. Nice. Enter a circle. Stay in the circle. Stay in the circle. Cause he's gonna get really low. Nice. Now run back. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Don't come back. Don't come back. Do not come back. Push in the wave. If anything, push in your bot wave. Push in your bot wave. Mm -hmm. While he's occupied there, push in this wave and look for base. Base now. Base now. Base now. So this is really, really good for tempo. So we don't want to hit that plate because. What happens if Kindred didn't go for his blue buff, right? And he was just at, like, his turret waiting for this gen. Like, he just runs on you, and then it's kind of fucked, no? Also, buy a pink one and upgrade your uh, trinket to blue. Like, we're always thinking about what can kill us. Not what, like, what we want to do. Because what we want to do is we want that plate, right? That's very obvious. What do they want right. to do? They want to deny you that plate, and they're pretty much going to come bought for their blue buff. So if we think about that, we know what the correct play is. No, I feel, <laughs> I feel like a crash. Listen, man, this bitch has been trolling all lane phase. We expect nothing from her. <laughs> Look at the top fight. Rotate. Rotate to the top fight. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to ditch our lane here. Okay, Warwick should get the kill. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now the fight's over. We're going to go back bot lane. Let's see. Hopefully Lux isn't running it down. She's running it down. I think that's going to kill her. Okay, thank God. All right, this is a free kill for you. Nice, good, good spacing, good spacing. Beautiful orb blocking, I like that. All right, hard push this. No one's here, so you can use your E just to get that bonus attack speed. Yep, and then just hard clear this. We see everyone dead, so we can just pretty much take this turret for free now. So path upwards further into the turret. That way you can press your Q as we're hitting this turret and clear the creeps. Go check his Gromp camp with W. Take it. Yep. This is what we call resource taking. This is really good. Path downwards. You don't want path inwards. Pathing inwards, it will get you killed. So take okay. the uh, little planty and get uh, help the drag, and then get the fuck on out of there. Yep. Go into your tribush and channel a base, or in the river bush, doesn't matter. But we're going to base here because we want that PD. Okay, press tab. Uh, they're mostly tanky in terms of their front line. So do you think you have an opportunity to one shot them in this team? Like right now? I mean, besides Jin and probably Kindred. Okay. So we're going to go Lord Doms, right? Cause that's who we're hitting most of all. Like mostly we're not going to try to look for these insane dives. Right. All right. So that's how you decide what you're going to go third. Well, he doesn't even have his mythic, honestly. Yeah. He's really weak. Like you're fucking smurfing this game, dude. Like you're, you're nuts. Okay, uh, we're going to path towards mid here instead of going bot. Because <clears throat> we need to defend this turret because mid lane is like the pillar of our success. Nice, I like this. Taking the camp. Very good, I needed to tell you that. Actually, walk towards bot. We can maybe kill this Jin because his team is missing. If we can, snipe him with a W, and then we just fucking all in skid. Like, he just can't, he just can't focus. Snipe him with W? Fucking ulti's ass. Just nuke him. I like this. Hell yeah. Make him your bitch. 
Okay, we did not need a flash. I don't know what that I know, was. I know, that was a, it was, it was a reflex, sorry. Okay, uh, pushing your wave, pushing your wave, pushing your wave. Yep. We saw Kindred mid, so there's no one else going to be here other than Swain, and we can 1v1 her very easily. Pushing another wave, pushing another wave. He's dead mid. Good, good blue ward usage. Nice. Make sure you're not pathing too far up, right? Because now we're like we're rocking dangerous territory. Alright, Kindred's not here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. This is now safe territory. Mm-hmm. So now we know that Swain is gonna be towards the bot side, and so is Jin, right? So we're gonna back up. Yep. We're running the fight top side. At least I think we are. Okay, look for a base. There's nothing you can do on map right now. Because we can't take this Gromp because their ball is gonna defend it, and here we can get a nice last whisper base. Do I need to get um, anti heal because of Swain and Darius? No. That is going to be for your top and your jungle and your support. That is not your job. When you're playing AD carry, building more reminder is like a last resort. Like, if literally no one on your team can build it properly, then yeah, you build it. But for the most part, your top and jungle are going to have, uh, let's call it Bramble, and your support should have Oblivion Orb. Okay, look to fight, fight, fight. Just fucking nuke that kid, nuke that kid. All right, NT. Okay, write that down. Oh, baby. Okay, chill out. You're in the middle of that. Look at Kindred, look at Kindred, Kindred, Kindred. Run to the blue buff. That's all you, baby. Get him. Go, 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 go. Auto, keep, auto, 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 auto. NT, we cutted him into the warrior. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Push mid. Okay, they're all looking mid. We push in this wave. Hug towards the bottom side. Don't hug that wall. That wall is dangerous because that's where they can come from. Okay, hit the turret, hit the turret, hit the turret, hit the turret, 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 turret. Oh, this also could be good. Perfect. That actually works as well. I didn't think that guy would run it down. Nice, nice, nice. Go for the swain. Make sure we're isolating. We're not walking up too forward. We're just hitting the swain. Run. Fucking run. Absolutely fucking run. This is fucking woman and children first. Escape. Okay, take his raptor camp while Darius pushes mid. We do not walk towards the Darius. We go mid. We go mid. We go mid. We go mid. Just other way. We around. go mid. Yeah, yeah. We go mid. Not, not the Krugs. No. Again, mid is our is our pillar, right? Like Kindred's way far away from the Krug camp. Like even if she gets, it's not that bad. So Darius is all bot, push this wave, push this wave, hug towards the top side, don't hug your bot side. Anytime you are farming, you need to acknowledge where danger is, and when you're farming, think about where you can create the most amount of space, right? So after this, go to his raptor camp, run to the enemy raptor camp. And if there's nothing at the raptor camp, then uh, we're just going to look for a base. But raptor camp's up, okay, nice. Take raptors, path towards his red buff, path towards his red buff. Yep, 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 yep. Go take his Krugs. Yep, and then after this, we're going to look for a base, because now we have Lord Doms, right? Actually, right. look at Nasus here. We might be able to dive this lane if Nasus tries to look for a fight here. Okay, he's not going to look for a fight, so just take a base. Just run into that bush, take a base. A flash. Okay, yeah, right, take that. Buy Pink Ward. Buy what? Pink Ward. You said Pink Ward? Oh, yeah. Pink Ward. <laughs> take take the base gate, take the red buff, and then we're gonna go to dragon. Actually, okay, yeah, take this red buff as fast as humanly fucking possible, and then path down, path downwards to your team, to your team, to your team. Not not away. Yep, yep, yep. Take the base gate, dragon base gate. Yep, we're gonna close that distance. Yep, look at that fight, huge fucking dub. Look at kindred, kill the kindred. We're gonna siege here. Don't overdive, don't dive, don't dive, don't dive, don't dive. Wait for the CC and then we're gonna go. Okay, so go to his red, go to his blue, 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 blue. Okay, there's nothing for us to push, right? There's no wave. They can take the throw on their own. Just take the blue buff. Take take the blue buff. Oh, okay, that works. He's you ulted for like a hundred gold, but you know it's fine. Take the blue buff. If Ari pings you off it, you don't give a fuck. This is your blue buff. We take it because we're fucking we're chads. Fucking huge. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Perfect. And then we just take the fucking dragon, take the scuttle too. We take this shit. We don't let her have it. This is fucking our crap. This is our fucking crap. Auto queue. Hell yeah. Now take his gromp. Go to his gromp. Go to his gromp. Go to his gromp. Because we know that he's respawning, right? Okay, we see Silas. We can 1v1 the Silas. Don't look for the 1v1. Take the gromp first. But obviously, if he comes, then we can fight him. And if we fight him, we're going to kite towards the bottom side. Yep. Finish kill his bot wave. Clear it fast. Clear it fast. Because we're on a timer. Because we know that they're going to come bot for us. Run. Fucking run. Fucking run. It is time to get the hell out. Nice. Okay, take the Kruk camp and then path towards mid. Because we have nothing to base for, right? Our next, our next base is going to be the fucking IE. So we're going to, we don't, until we have gold for BF Sword, we don't really give a fuck. I feel like this is not the best example of a game. Actually, no, this is a really good example, actually. I like really? this. Really? Like, would you have made these exact same decisions if I wasn't in your ear right now? Push up mid, push up mid. Don't go help the. No, board. we're gonna look because look, Borg was at one HP, right? So it's better for us. Like it's a losing fight. Just push mid, push mid, push mid, push mid. It's way better. Cause that fight honestly looks losing. Yep, they're both losing. Push this turret in. It's way better. <laughs> yep, she can be mad all she wants. Take the raptor camp. Take the raptor camp. Because us moving there gets us nothing, right? Like, we have we get more global gold this way, and it's more insured, and it's less risky. And we have to burn as many summoners. Okay, nice. Then go take blue buff. Actually, catch the Silas out. If we can if we can catch Silas out. Oh, we're running the wrong way. Take the plant and get the fuck out of there, homie. That works, too. Take, take, uh, fight him. Auto queue, huge. Take blue buff. This is yours. And if Ari complains about it, literally just... How the fuck are you going to flame me and say bot dip? Ah, fuck no, bro. Take the ground, take the ground, take the ground. Ground, ground, Because Warwick's going to go a bit. Oh, we can space this guy out. Space it, space it. Look for auto cues. Okay, he has no pull. This is free, this is free. Fucking beat the shit out of him. Don't look at Kindred. Look at this guy in front of you. Yep, nice. Snipe the Kindred with the, with the W. Fucking R that bitch. Yes, sir! Now ping Baron, ping Baron, ping Baron, ping Baron, 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 not downwards, up. Okay, after this, we're going to look to get that top wave because we want to get all the resources as possible. And we're only like, what, like 100 gold after Baron to get IE. Place a pink ward in the pit. That's the blue ward. There we go. Don't stand in the back of the wall. We just want to finish this off this Baron and just fucking get on out. Nice, run. Take that top wave as fast as you can. And then we're going to get the IE and then we're going to base. No, 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 don't look for a fight. Ping your team out. We, we do not want to be here. We, we want to look for a base. Yep, finish this. Take your base, get your IE, and now you're literally fucking Gala on fucking Bronze 3. <laughs> Buy a pink ward? Alright, soon or not, we go. Nice, 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 nice. Careful. So now that we're really fed, I don't want you to get over cocky, right? We still have to play for isolated cues and play front to back. We do not want right. to just take these random risky assaulties because if we die one time to someone that's like important, it's honestly GG. So, yep, keep on refarming these resources. Look at Lux, look at Lux while you're farming this camp. See if we can help her out. So, Darius splitting off. Okay, nice. I like where you're going. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Nice space, nice space. Press W. Fight. Absolutely huge. Fucking yoked. Nice. Push mid. Don't look at the Warwick. We don't care. We, we, we just want to push this wave in. I like how you know exactly where my eyes are going. <laughs> it's a good habit to have, but like I'm trying to keep you focused on the objective. Look at the Jin here. Not allowed. Absolutely not fucking allowed. This guy's fucking griefing, bro. NT. Okay, push this turret. Push this turret. Push this turret. Hug the top side of the map. Yep, I like this. Now. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Create space towards you and Kindred. Okay. You can walk up here. You can threaten. You can threaten. Okay, farm this wave and then go farm this guy's like red buff or something. Or like farm his camps. Actually, look top. Look top. Look top. Look top. Yep. 
We can push top here. We can push top here. Big wave, big wave, big wave. Careful. Space backwards, base backwards, 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 back, back. Nice, 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 nice. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Heal. Flash if you need to, but you don't need to. Okay, nice. Blow this guy's up. He has no heal. He has no fucking pull. Go up. Nice. Okay, stand towards the top side of this lane. Yep, I like this. I like this. I like this. Keep staying towards the top side. Yep, 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 yep. Don't path forward like this. You are pathing way in front of your team. Again, okay. you, do not lay, okay. you don't want to play cocky like this. This is a really bad habit. Okay, push th push these creeps. And then play with your team. Like, if they want to end the game, then you can play to end the game. But otherwise, we're playing with our team here. We're at 80 carry. We follow. We don't lead. Okay. Auto and ulti. Okay, that works too. Ulti, 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 ulti. Huge. Absolutely fucking massive, dude. Run, 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 run. Ah! <laughs> we aren't paying attention to our HP, brother. But because of that, I think we can end the game here. Unless Darius is fucking V9 crank. Okay, he might V9 crank this because everyone's fucking leaving your Warwick out to dry. But, you know. Guys, fucking save the dog, man. Yeah, GA's good. And then buy the red pot because if you're six items, it doesn't start working until you leave the base anyways. Oh, Darius. Oh, Nasus. The game should be over. Fuck. Holy shit, the curse is broken. Let's fucking go. You're my first student that actually gets to win his game while live coaching. Thank God. I thought I was ever had everyone just going to fucking lose their games. Holy shit. All right. But yeah, as I was asking earlier, did would you have done all these things in like your own if I didn't tell you to? Not all of them. Okay. Yeah, I think this was actually a really good game because it shows that you know how to capitalize off mistakes like that and you're very, very good at pretty much just... You're kind of reaching. I can see where your mistakes could be made and like your game losing mistakes, but it's like better that we didn't lose, you know? So now I'm going to open up my thing so you can stop your streaming and so I can start mine. Okay. my channel i just felt like that was like one of those really good games and not like one of those mediocre games we don't want the mediocre games especially when i'm telling you what to do because if you're playing mediocre while i'm like constantly giving you the quote-unquote correct advice like what does that say about me uh i get i get you i get you <laughs> <laughs> like if i'm telling you what to do and you're consistently inting then like i don't know i don't think i'm doing my job right i'm being real honest here yeah i'm gonna start streaming on discord Okay, can you see this? I see it. Okay, I also gotta open Epic Pop. Perfect. One sec, this little application takes a little bit to start up. Let me charge my phone during this. One sec. Fuck, my charge is in my bedroom, dude. This is a game. Got an S plus, let's go. All right. Okay, so you can see this, right? Yes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is obviously when you're standing here, being AFK is not good. Like being AFK, like standing here is fine, but you can't like be consciously AFK. Because like we saw them like pathing up here from the Lux vision and we didn't notice like where they were coming from, right? And we see them moving over like this way, right? Like we see right. this. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should have a better fucking marker. Whatever, it's fine. And so, where's the reset? Okay, perfect. So, we see the moving here, and so I wanted you to run up like this way. Why do I want you to run up this way? Because it's the shortest route to my tower, well, to safety. And there's Ari right there. Mm, yes, but not... remember what I told you just before, how they were running this way? Right. So oh, that means they're coming. More distance. That means they're going to come this way too, yeah? Right, got you, yeah. Yeah, so the only logical way to get the hell out of here is this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because now we see Darius here. Thankfully, this guy didn't have flash. He's had his fucking, like, he started Q. Even if he started W, I think you're going to, like, have to flash here or, like, you die. Okay. So I like... the right moment to flash, honestly. Huh? 
I was waiting for the right moment. I was like, if I can get out of here safely without flashing, I'll do it. But like, if yeah. I got a flash, I'll use it. Mm -hmm. So I like this here, right? Like you're listening to me, but you need to keep this in mind. It's like when you don't have push. So when the wave is like this, right? You're going to counter a lot of scenarios where you have to leash your jungler and the enemy balling doesn't have to leash and they get first touch on the wave. You do not, I repeat, you do not want to contest this wave. You want to just let them have full control of it so they can crash it in as fast as possible. When they, when you try to fight this, do you know what happens to this wave? Uh, it just ends up neutral? Yes, it ends up neutral. And so what ends up happening is, even though it's neutral, since they're the ones auto and last hitting, it's going to create a slow push. So it's going to go from here to here to here. And notice how each line is getting like moderately bigger. Do you know what I'm trying to show here? the size of the wave uh-huh and what happens if the wave is right here and their jungler start at top then we're getting dove on it yeah so want to know how we counter that by not touching the first wave if they just got the first push mm -hmm. because instead of going like the one two three it now turns into one two and so they can't dive on two because he's still going to be on this buff you see how that okay. works? Yeah, that, that kind of explains why, like, sometimes when I fast push and, like, autopilot, it just, like, becomes two waves instead of three waves. Mm hmm So we're going to put that under here. Uh, it's going to be listed under bad, but I just list bad as just, like, a term that you can learn from. So don't think it's, like, actually bad. So, uh. Actually, this is going to be going to be good because that's just going to have a little happen like that. Do, 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 do. So we're letting we push in. We're only walking in whenever uh, like we want to last hit. We're staying away from Swain E. So something you need to work on is notice when abilities are used. So if you notice throughout the lane phase, notice how every time I told you to walk up, what ability was not available? That's Swain pull. And what was our lose con that we discussed in Champions Select or as lo in loading screen? Uh, win con, well, their win con was Swain Pool, Jin W. Yep. And so you see how that works together? So we're always looking for that Swain Pool. When that's not available, we can play the game. When it is available, we cannot play the game. So here, yep. See, they crash on two because they can't build it up and their jungler cannot dive you. So here, this is a little bit bad because you kind of crash in like the little melees here so that you give the casters a little bit more space. But, you know, it's fine. I was thinking my CS was horrible at this point. <laughs> it's fine. We can't see it. Fucking Twitch on TV slash Law Mid is covering it. We're good, bro. So here, this is what I talked about, okay? So when your support gets engaged on here, uh, I like the fact that you actually didn't heal him because he just gets fucking one-tapped. But when this happens, what you can end up doing, you just get a nice little auto key here and then you just back the hell up. Because notice how they're using all their ability. Like, this is the triangle, right? We see, like, it doesn't uh, it just app, like matter for us. It matters for them, too. This is where their focal point is. So you, you're standing right here. Auto Q, fucking run back. That's all you care about. It's not much, but it's that little tiny advantage. Because what if, what happens is, this is a big what if scenario, right? So they're going to crash in this next wave because you don't have a support. Their jungler could maybe look to dive you as a 2v1 while your Lux is dead. What if Jin takes the first hit of aggro and that 10, like, that 30 HP that you deal was what made or break that if he died or not? Got you. Mm -hmm. So all that, all these tiny things really do add up in just like the what ifs, the hypotheticals. So in that situation, when I saw Lux walking up, was I playing too passive? Uh, no, you were playing correctly. Like you played this right. You, the only thing that you weren't playing correctly is, remember how I told you how Swain E works? You're 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 with the you're with the boys here. Okay, yeah, I get you, I get you. But it's good because you you still listen to what I was telling you, right? Don't stand the same side as Swain. And so, it's harder for him to land that. Meanwhile, since Lux is doing the stupid thing, because she's standing with the boys, it's easier to get her caught. So, I'm going to put on a bat. Constantly acknowledge where you are standing. <clears throat> okay 
One thing I noticed that we're really bad at, and we're gonna put this under fucking homework immediately, mm -hmm. is look at minimap war. Okay. <laughs> because Warwick, in this moment in time, like we saw where he was walking, right? Like the way yeah, pushing he's... in, we see Kindred is now up here, so there's no chance of a counter gank. Like, pauses. So as Warwick is coming down here, what if that? What if this bush was warded? What then? Then they would have just kept walking back. Correct. Ooh. But if Warwick is coming in hot, like he's not stopping, does that gank work? Yes, because they're too far up at this point. Mm -hmm. But if we're too far back, it's not going to work, right? Right, because they have the 2v1, right? Mm -hmm. So because Warwick did the correct plan, he's just coming in hot here. He luckily burns Jin flash. This Jin's kind of like dumb. Like he, he didn't need a flash here. So now we're pushing in this wave. So yeah, we're gonna look at the mini map more. To uh, mini map more. Parentheses. Look at your jungler. Okay, perfect. I think it was also this fight too. Yeah, this fight. Let's see what happened here. So you're pretty much walking in. Da 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 da. We're pathing mid here. Nothing happening. Then he starts pathing backwards. Oh yeah, so here you're just not it's not the minimap thing, you're just not looking at your screen. Because like okay. <laughs> as we see Swain walk through here, he's kind of, and we don't see Jin, there's a big disconnect and the triangle has formed. And so this guy is not allowed to play the game. Like this guy should literally just be like fucking headshot. And I should not have been walking backwards at that point. Mm-hmm. Because you have control, right? Because like when you're up like this and you have a big wave. And Jin's not contesting you, Swain's not contesting you, and you have your jungler bot side and their jungler's top side, what can kill you? Absolutely nothing, right? That little walk back probably, like, I wouldn't say took away a kill. It didn't, but it's just, like, the, the correct concept, you know? So, I kind of like what you did here, but I didn't like it at the same time. So, let me, let me explain why. Okay. So, these two no longer have flash. They're backing up, right? We now see Silas. So, what I like about this play, I like that when you acknowledge that Silas is here, you're running away from the damage source. That way we can isolate him if he comes in. What I don't end up liking is, if I continue to play the clip, oops. Notice how all these abilities have now been used, and your Warwick has went inwards. Where do you think you should be going now? Inwards with the Warwick? Yeah, we're because... going to go around this way. Okay. Because now, we're pretty much isolating from this target, so all the damage from like this side is like nulled out especially if we like go here so that's what you need to acknowledge because now if you leave warwick here guess what happens it's not uh, it's not only a triangle now it's a fucking rectangle right and now this guy's like fighting for his goddamn life trying to like win this around so here thankfully this guy's trolling and uh you end up getting that nice w there into a flash should i have like did the Kaisa flash W thing? No, this W was fine. Okay. Because the thing about, like... yeah, because if you flash W, what ends up happening is your ID, like, I'm thinking about where you're going to flash. You're going to, like, flash here, right? Right. This is what happens when it's Kindred jumps in here. Now it's blocked. Got you. Yeah. So the W okay. is really good. That was, like, really good. I didn't notice that on time, like, immediately because I just was too focused on getting you the hell on out of there. But that was a good flash. Back out. Another good thing is. Always use pots when near half HP. That is a good thing to have a tooltip as. Okay, so here your positioning gets a little bit sussy, right? Because you, I literally before I replayed, you like went melee range. So let's talk. So, okay. Right. Hmm? Yeah. So like I said, with the positioning, like you get me now, right? Yeah. Like you're pretty much walking without reason. Anytime you want to walk somewhere, what are you getting, right? So waves up here. Like up here, it's pushing outwards into you. You know the jungler is here. Your jungler is all the way back over here. What can you make happen here? Uh, nothing. Yes. So us walking up here allows Swain to put this little circle thing, causes you to force up. Luckily, you're like already near backwards, so you can like space this out. But this causes Lux to go forward. So now, Lux is gonna get pulled. And here, when you are trying to fight like this, when you're eing. This, you have to make sure that like if you're going to be a Kaisa main, that you can like judge the distance of when your E is going to start 
and when it stops. Because as we know, you can't auto while supercharging, right? Right. So right here, this looks like the fat, like the world record for the fastest int possible. Like you're Naruto running into the fucking like your death. <laughs> so like now we also like we can't auto, we have no mana. Because what happens here is like, what if we did this? Like what if we let's see, so path here. So this is how the fight's gonna go. We're gonna path upwards, right? Because Jin is down here, so he's gonna be like down this area. If we go up here, instead of using our E, we have Halo Blades up. Auto, 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 Q, and then maybe that kills, right? Maybe not. Probably doesn't because we don't have W. But it looks better, right? Right. Like if we had W here, oh, it was fucking over. Actually, you might have actually killed him because what happens here, actually, now that I think about it, because it has a flash. Auto, 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 with a Q. Pop Biscuit, W, because Jin's not blocking for it, and that guy's dead. Also, you need to get in the habit of that. Uh, as you fight, use your Pop slash Biscuits. Turn it into a habit. Okay, what happens here? Da, da, da. Did I tell you to do anything special here? After this? You told me to get... Um... Oh, yeah, I told you to shove in this wave. And I told you to possibly yeah. fight this djinn. So, I tell you to fight this djinn for what reason? I'm one level above him, and I have more HP. And? Uh, he's just left. Right. It's a 1v1 now. Mm-hmm. And so... Now we are a level higher... This was like, I was sussy because I didn't know if he was in this bush or not. I was paying attention. I was mainly looking at the Swain. But like, if you know that he's in here and you know that's going to be isolated fight, like you can just fuck this guy's mom. And like, he just has to like, just take it. But regardless, the other play was definitely just to push in this wave and then just go for a base, right? So that's fine. Right. So let's turn should this Should I put a, in that, when I was eing in, should I have just put a ward in that bush? Yes. When you are always fighting, you always want to play trinket in every bush. That was another, so we're going to put that. Always place trinkets in bushes mid fight. That's the only way you could possibly lose that is if he plays in and out of vision and he like ma like makes you lose like two autos worth of damage. And the other thing is play with info DC. We're gonna put that in parentheses. Swing base press turn. So if I didn't tell you this, would you have just bought Noon Quiver and like Crypt Cloak? Um, no, I would. Yeah, no, I would have probably bought Noon Quiver boots. No, not boots. Um, the dagger and probably got a um, pink. Okay, so we're gonna give you that tip as well. No buy pink until finish mythic. Pink wards don't do damage. <laughs> and then. So as we like now that you're understanding Kaiser, because you're Kaiser OTP pretty much, like we understand how much how valuable raw AD is on it, right? Right. So that's why we're gonna do that. It's kinda like why back then, like before, before this patch, like lethality, like Kaisa, not like the full lethality, but the uh the fucking serrated Dirk rush, if you had like eleven hundred gold, was more pro like prominent. Not much happens here. Oh yeah, so this is where you asked me if uh, you should use the W. You see how like since we didn't use W, this kid just like sits there and looks like an idiot. He just like right. kind of stood in that bush and just ended up dying. Yeah, stuff like that. Should I have taken that kill? Like R in and took that kill? Or uh, I, have, like, I say yes good? because I think he's level six here, right? Yeah, so this is fine because we're just pretty much chain CCing before he can ulti, right? So this is really good. Okay. But in no, most cases, that's like a normal jungle. Let's say that's like a fucking like lease in or some shit or like an elise. No, you don't ulti there. I will think about what happened after. I think I think they get CC too, and that gave me like another like option to R in. I don't know. I don't think yeah. so actually. What happens here that I can like give you a little bit of a judgment call on is like look how like aggressive your Wolverine's walking in. You can just walk in with him. 
even if like it results in like a little bit to nothing what if like this guy just does a fucking maniac play and just like flash ours right like you have to like you if the closest you are the easier it is to follow up pushing the wave looking for a base Okay, we're, this is this is mechanical error. So, what happens here is, Lux, you're, we're waiting for Lux, right? Like, what happens when you're trying to set up a dive like this? And it's pretty much ensure they're gonna dive, right? Because we know everyone's topside. There's no one here. It's just the sky alone, right? You following? Okay. So, this guy's under turret. What ends up happening is you're gonna not auto first. You're going to cut off his exit. You're gonna walk up here, not auto. And the only time you start autoing is after Lux lands an ability or starts autoing and starts tanking. So here, you autoed very early, but thankfully you were out of range. Lux starts taking here. As soon as this Q lands, you RW and then just fucking auto, auto Q, he dies. Instead, what do we do? We W like this. And then R'd. Do you know about the RW combo? Um, yeah, you land basically right on them and you W right on their face. Yeah, perfect. But another thing I want you to notice though, okay? So this is gonna like be like extra bit of a lesson. What is coming? To potentially save Jin here, uh, um, I guess Swain because he's back alive. It's not a champion. Oh, oh, the um, because the turret deaggro from Lux, right? No. Oh, the next wave, the next wave. Because next we're thinking wave, about isolating. isolating. Yeah, and so what ends up happening is did my did it, my Q get split? <laughs> it didn't get split here. But I'm telling you this for the future. Well, you auto degree. But uh, what you do here is you don't want to like W like R on top of them, right? Because if you are on top of them like this, guess what potentially is going to be there to save them? That next minion wave and splits your Q. What you do instead is you eliminate all risky factors. You are here or like you are here because the minion wave won't reach. The W is still 100% going to land and you get an isolated Q and auto's off and this guy's just dead. Alongside that, you're closer to just walking out of turret range. Like this is a, this is like a little micro mechanic, just to like make sure that you brush up on your mechanics very well. And right. also, uh, you should actually no, it's fine. Just next time, don't auto to creep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because I use my I use um left click to attack. Okay. Like uh, attack move. Yeah. So here, we're looking at the mini map because I'm telling you to. Kendra's coming here. Why are we warding uh, Krug Camp? Um, because he could hop over the wall. Okay, who else is with him? Sil Silas. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to ward this, right? Because that's the only way he's going to come. But he's going to come here. He's going to isolate it. We just fucking blow this guy up for fun because he's not thinking. Silas is here. I don't know where the fuck Swain came from. I don't know how the hell he got back here. I don't either. <laughs> like, I genuinely, like, I didn't see him this entire time. He's suddenly just back there. So this is like, I could have got you killed here accidentally. So I thought, I thought this guy was solo. But as soon as we see the fucking big bird we fucking start running this way right because now it's 2v1 right. so we gotta fucking go okay everyone walk on out single file line i don't know what the hell happened did they try to kill the locks oh they did yeah okay good kill here again we're using w we're using our e like a troll why are we using e we just want the attack speed right all right but what happens if we're using our E. How much tax speed do we gain? Absolutely zero. Perfect. How much tax speed do we lose? Uh, anything that they're throwing at us? No, we lose all our tax speed while we're charging E, right? Because we oh. literally can't auto. <laughs> I thought you meant like the difference. <laughs> no, like you, you gain no tax speed, but you also literally can't auto anymore. So this could have been a little bit cleaner. Because now I'm watching you stand here, just like looking like you're taking like, a dump. And then like we just let him walk free. This could have been another kill for you. You see what I mean? All right. Okay, now this guy's going in here. So, Jin has literally nothing, right? He has no mythic. He's like two bullets away from his fourth shot. So, you could just walked in, got like a nice little auto or auto key, and then walked on out again. But after this, we're going to push in the wave because we can't follow up on that. I like that my Warwick didn't take the wave. That's very rare. <laughs> I mean, what happens when you're doing well in these games? What are people going to do, right? They're just going to give you literally everything because they, like, worship you as, like, their god. 
it's kind of like why like when double f plays lane phase like everyone people give him every single fucking kill give him every wave because like he's double f right he's gonna they think he's gonna carry i did not know fun fact uh even though i used to play kindred that if you walk out of the r you could just walk into the r or you could just straight up walk into the r and save your, your own life yeah yeah that sounds about right I thought, like, literally, as soon as you're out, like, you, you don't count for the R anymore. Yeah. Also, another thing here is, uh, it's all about thinking about spacing, right? So, Kindred R is here. We know that Jin's still alive. And, like, what if he has four shot, right? So, as soon as his ulti ends, what if he just fucking one-taps you over the wall? Or one-taps you like your R, right? So, right. instead of pathing towards upwards here, we should just stay around, like, this bottom side, because he's going to die regardless. So, just a little bit of a tooltip there. I'm ready to go push in this wave. So why do we push in this wave? To give Jin less money, like in a way. Hopefully. No, why are we pushing in this wave? Oh, so that way we can base with more money, or because that what makes us feel secure? Okay, let me rephrase it one more time. Why do we feel secure enough to push in this wave? Because Swain and Lux and who's that Warwick and Ari are no Ari's base. Okay. Warwick and Lux are up there, so. And Swain's there, and hopefully Jin is, like, back at this point because he was low on health. Let's go! We're thinking! That's what I want you to think about. Like, this is the stuff that I literally think about as I'm playing the fucking game. So, like, we're trying to turn this into, like, a fucking unconscious decision, right? So, that's really good. That's really good. If you think about this enough times, you pretty much make these split-second decisions, like, instantly quick. So, here, I'm looking at mid. So, this is, like, you overcommitted here. Because look for where this fight's going, right? This fight's going up, 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 up. How right. far? And we're not going to reach that, right? And then, honestly, in my mind, I was like, I have, should have R up. I should be able to fight. <laughs> but you don't even have R. Yeah. Yeah, and then I looked, I was like, oh, I don't even have R. Yeah. So, we could have saved our luck here. Could have, like, fucking Captain save a hoe. But she dies. Pick up the kill. We get turret. So, why do we feel secure enough to walk up here as we're clearing the turret? Um, because Swain and uh, Swain and Silas, they were both mid, just having a little fight, and I think only si did Silas die. I think Silas died, and then Swain also died. So they they should be in base. Perfect. Jin's dead. Kindred's dead. Good. And we don't know where the big boy with the axe is. Mm -hmm. But we got to keep in mind that like we're only doing this because we know all this information, right? If we right. don't know this information, we can't do this. And this is like, this is just taking his resources because obviously Kendra's going to come down bot to take his wave and all this other shit. And so while we have the free time while he's dead and we know that Saz is here, we can just take this for free. And then here, we're kind of griefing because what if like Swain's here and then now it gets really messy. We're just going to run out right. of here. Because I was going to get like, I try to take his wolves. Oh yeah, you're, you're, if that was your actual <laughs> thought process, holy fuck, you're trolling. <laughs> My God, man. Because sometimes it's like, I got farm on the brain. Well, you're definitely an AD carry player. Okay, look, mid fight here. Mid fight's not good. I think we gotta kill this Jin here because he's like trolling. Should I have Ard more behind him? Uh, probably, yeah. Well, you don't R behind him, you are on top of him. Because if you are behind him, he can flash up here. If you are right here, he flashes backwards. If you are like right here, like he can't move, right? Like, you're still always gonna be in range. So that was a uh, I didn't need to flash, like you said. But yeah, we're up. Smile. Okay, why don't I tell you pushing this next wave? Um, Jin's dead. Silas is there, but you said Swain's not a champ, so. Mm hmm. And so we're strong enough to pretty much just like anyone that comes up here by the uh, uh, on the alone. Kendra's top. Yeah, well, we didn't Kendra's know that yet, but. Right. Just Swain and Kindred by themselves. They can't kill you, right? Because right. Swain's not a champion if you dodge his E. And Kindred can get one tap. So, you're safe here. So, as we see that Swain uses W here, and as we see that the Kindred's top lane, now this is where we realize that the Kindred's top, right? So now, if Swain was up there, we keep pushing. Now that he's here, we start running. Was that W like a good poke, per se? Here? No, when I was yeah, when I was there and like I got the Swain with a W, was that a good poke per se, or is that just like a? I mean, it, it's odd. It's a non-factor. You really don't do anything uh, with it. Okay. 
And this guy here. Lux is trolling. We're looking at the Kindred. Nice. We kill her. Go a bit here. Okay, so I like this. We're giving a lot of space, and then as soon as the fight's like fucking turned bad, we fucking run for our lives, right? Right. Only because you told me to. Yep. Well, you don't have to say that. I, I'm pretty sure. Like, would you have actually fought that if I didn't tell you to? Well, I would have like tried to do something more, like okay. tried to kite in that situation. Okay. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Because if Darius has flash, because we can't, we're like the only person we don't see on our screen a lot is Darius, right? Darius in like right. the jungle. So if he has flash here and we try to fight that back. We just die, we give up this like really big shutdown, and the game can be over. Because then Darius can like accelerate to like a million fucking armor stats. So why do we take the Raptor Camp here? Because we need more resources. Oh, the Kendrit, because they're bot. Yeah. They went they went to um Krugs. Why aren't we rotating down there? Because we're too far away in mid. Mm, we're about equal distance between their camps and bot lane, but well, I guess here's like you're probably not gonna get this right, so I'm gonna answer for you. No offense. Uh, Dragon's not up for a minute, so oh. there's no big objective up, right? Right. We're missing like 200 gold from our from our like third item spike, and this is a very volatile fight, right? Like there's no like even if you win or lose it, it does not matter. It's safer for you to get this camp into potentially their red into their Krugs, right? Because that is literally like what is like 120. This is like another seven, like 120. There's like another, there's like 300 gold on their top side, right? Mm -hmm. Compared to what if you rotate down there and you only get one kill, but the rest of your team's fucking dead? It's equivalent to like this entire camp, right? And the, like, but you don't even get the same amount of EXP. So take camps. Got it. <laughs> like, basically, what I'm trying to explain here. Is like when it's a flip fight, like flip fights over like non objective are not good. Like they're just, they're just not good. So it's like better for you to get insured resources. Fight? What'd you say? Like 90% of our bronze fights? Yeah, pretty much. Like if there's an objective, like literally, like as it's spawning, like at 10 seconds left, then yeah, sure. Rotate down there, try to fight. And so, because if you win that fight, guess what? You now get dragon. But because right. this is like a full minute beforehand, I would recommend that you just pretty much take the safer route and just one camp, two camp, three camp, just get free gold, and then just look for a reset. Got you. Cause like even here, if Nasus was a little bit more aggressive here, and he like he was a better player, he just like withers this fucking Swain, you land a W and just fucking kill his ass. Cause look, as you're spawning, guess what? Like they still didn't do dragon yet. You take the base gates, and like dragon's still available, yeah? Right. And look, we even end up winning this fight because guess what? Because you're not pathing there, they don't play as aggressive and we actually get a pick. Because if you path down there, they're more willing to commit to the fight, right? Right, because then they're like, okay, Kais is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they see you pathing up here. They're like, huh, we should just follow away for a bit. You basically just like, yeah. You mean my team or like their team? Your team. Your team's going to be okay. less willing to commit because their team doesn't see you. They don't really give a fuck. You're like... You path here, the vision's lost, you started like baking like you're going to go backwards, but then you just juke up here and you just take all their shit. At this point, the game is relatively over, but if you die one time, it could get really bad. I think this is the part where I told you to gather resources because uh, we're stronger than Silas, right? So, like, Kindred's dead, Swain's mid, Silas is like the only person, right? He can't one shot it because he's like really weak and we have like all of our summoners and everything except for like ulti. So, obviously, like, this is the same concept that applies, right? Flip fights are bad. If Saz is here, it's not that much of a flip, right? It's more like a 90-10. A, a like, risk versus reward, very, very low, right? Because, like... Right, because he has to hit me with his... Uh, everything. His CC, right? Yeah, he has to yeah. hit you with everything, and even then, he might not have enough damage to kill you. Meanwhile, you have enough damage, more than enough damage to kill him. But, if the risk is, like, 10%, right? And we don't want to fight him. Guess what's insured? The Gromp. the next time i die did you ever die again i died again oh no i wasn't there at this point nothing really matters because like you're so fucking acceleratedly strong it's just insane oh yeah i'm gonna put this as like one of your homework things after looking next to your menu map 
learn to play with your team. Because if you take all of the lessons I taught you today and you consistently get this ahead, what's going to end up happening is eventually you're going to think like you're really good, which you're going to get really good. Don't get me wrong. Like that's the point of me coaching you. But when you consistently are able to get like these like winning lanes, like 10 plus kills per game, what do you think is going to happen to like your like ego? It's going to inflate because I'm like, I'm a Kaisa god. Yep. And what are you going to do if your ego is inflated? They're going to ban Kaisa or uh, I'm just going to get really horribly sat on one game and think very horribly of myself and mental goes down. No, that's not what I was thinking about. That's like way too existential <laughs> crisis. It's more or less like when you consistently get this fed over and over and over again, you're going to be more willing to like take these like random ass fights for no fucking reason, right? And then you okay, can basically yeah. throw a game. Got you. So we're going to keep that in check of just like always keep in mind that you are at the end of the day an AD carry. Like if you've watched my stream a few times, I've seen you on my chat a lot, right? Yeah. Like you've seen the two rules that I preach. Like, do you know what they are? Don't die. Close. Reword it. Think about what can kill you. Everything. Yes. And the other thing is, think about what the enemy wants to do. Okay, yeah. I got Those you. were my two golden rules for like what I'm teaching everyone in AD carry right now. And so you need to acknowledge that and don't let your ego blind you just because you're becoming a really good player from just like forgetting your basic ass fundamentals into just running down your games. Because I like it. Like, you're doing really well. Like, I'm praising you a lot this game. Because, like, my God, you turbo smurfed on these kids. But I want to keep you in check, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, here, your positioning gets really bad, right? Because what ends up happening here is you pretty much stay stand still here. And now you're susceptible to, like, all four lines of damage. Where, like, correctly, what you should be doing is... Let's see. You move up here. Okay, Swain's going in. As you're autoing, you move up, right? Right. Yeah. Because like I'm assuming you stand here because not only are you trying to do the most amount of DPS, because when you stand still, you, that's when you deal the most amount of DPS. But at the same time, like you just think you're so fed that it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, yeah, in a way. Because I was also thinking like, let me like try to get this Q going, and mm -hmm. that's why like I shot him with the W. Well, I tried to shoot him with the W before he like. Yeah, the main point is like you start getting cocky here because you're like, oh, I can just fucking one tap this guy with Q. Yes, you can, but at the same time, you're still potentially gonna get one shot. Right. And from here, just oh, you did die. How was that? How was that ulti? This was really fucking good. Like this was literally the best fucking ulti that you could have ever gotten. I, I even I wouldn't have done this. I'm not gonna lie. Like, because this was ballsy as fuck, right? If this was me, I'm fucking ulti out here and I'm fucking running for my fucking goddamn life. But here, I get I don't know what the hell you saw. But you just fucking one tap these kids. And then you like die to Swain ulti, but because you walk back in. But other than that, it's fine. Because you killed four and now you're in the game. Alright. Pretty good coaching session. Uh you don't really have you're gonna have like one less concept for homework because a lot of yours is gonna be based on just like team play. Because I think with how you're playing, especially since you're a one trick, uh, you're gonna be focused mainly on mechanics. So while you have the mechanics down, uh, we're gonna focus on the macro for this case. So because of that, uh, this is going to be the list that I have for you. Uh, there's not, I didn't really put much good because you did a lot of good things. I mainly just focus on like the things that you could work on. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, perfect. Not, not that I think of. <laughs> All right, perfect. You like the coaching session? Was it good for you? Did you get a lot of value? What were your, your thoughts? Oh yeah, I definitely got a lot of value because I probably would have done like a lot worse. Well, I wouldn't say a lot worse, but like I would have done some stupid decisions. All right. But the point is, we're trying to get rid of those. Uh, I appreciate you for purchasing my coaching. Uh, if you choose to get me coaching again, hopefully, uh, next time I see you, what your bronze, like what three right now that we said. Hopefully next time I see you, you'll at least be within the silver range because I think you have the potential of doing so very, very easily to get silver. And like, again, I don't let people like uh, schedule me for like more than one time a month. So you have a full month if you want to get coaching again to like hit silver, show me that you're going to get a lot better at all these mechanics and all these concepts I told you about. And uh, hope to see you again. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. GG's bro. Peace. All right. GG. Bye.